everyone again. My name is Nathan and it's my turn to read you another story. And this story is called The Smartest Giant in Town, written by Julia Donaldson, one of my favourites. And this story has some singing in it. Maybe you can join in. George was a giant, the scruffiest giant in town. He always wore the same pair of old brown sandals and the same old patched up gown. I wish I wasn't the scruffiest giant in town, he said sadly. But one day, George noticed a new shop. It was full of smart clothes, so he bought a smart shirt, a smart pair of trousers, a smart belt, a smart stripy tie, some smart socks with diamonds up the side, and a pair of smart, shiny shoes. Now I'm the smartest giant in town, he said proudly. George left his old clothes behind in the shop. He was about to go home when he heard a sound. On the pavement stood a giraffe who was sniffing sadly. What's the matter? asked George. It's my neck, said the giraffe. It's so very long and so very cold. I wish I had a long warm scarf. Cheer up, said George and he took off his stripy tie. It didn't match my sandals anyway, he said, as he wound it round and round the giraffe's neck. It made a wonderful scarf. Thank you, said the giraffe. George strode on towards home, and as he walked, he sang to himself. My tie is a scarf or a cold giraffe, but look me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. George came to a river. On a boat stood a goat who was bleating loudly. What's the matter? asked George. It's my sail, said the goat. It blew away in a storm. I wish I had a strong new sail for my boat. Cheer up, said George, and he took off his new white shirt. It kept coming untucked anyway, he said, as he tied it to the mast of the goat's boat. It made a magnificent sail. Thank you, said the goat. George strode on, singing to himself. <coughs> my tie is scarf for a cold giraffe, my shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat, but look me up and down, I'm the smartest giant in town. George came to a tiny ruined house. Beside the house stood a white mouse with lots of baby mice. They were all squeaking. What's the matter? asked George. It's our house, squeaked the mother mouse. It burned down and now we, we have nowhere to live. I wish we had a nice new house. Cheer up said George, and he took off one of his shiny shoes. It was giving me blisters anyway, he said, as the mouse and her baby scrambled inside. The shoe made a perfect home for them. George had to hop along the road now, but he didn't mind. As he hopped, he sang to himself. Is a scarf for a cold giraffe My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat My shoe is a house for a little white mouse But look me up and down I'm the smartest giant in town
George came to a campsite. Beside a tent stood a fox who was crying. What's the matter? asked George. It's my sleeping bag, said the fox. I dropped it in a puddle. I wish I had a warm, dry sleeping bag. Cheer up, said George, and he took off one of his socks with the diamonds up the side. It was tickling my toes anyway, he said, as the fox snuggled into it. It made a very fine sleeping bag. Thank you, said the fox. George hopped on, singing to himself. My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe, my shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat, my shoe is a house for a little white mouse, one of my socks is a bed for a fox, but look me up and down, I'm the smartest giant in town.